Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can be successful as a part-time real estate agent. Being in real estate is a huge interest for many people across the country to get their license, sell some homes, and begin to make some really good money. The only problem is that working in real estate requires a lot of time, work, and effort, and many people are living paycheck to paycheck, so they simply cannot afford to go months without pay as a real estate agent to get their very first deal. For this reason, many people choose to keep their full-time job and then work as a real estate agent on the side. This allows them to keep the security of the income of that job so that they can continue to support themselves while still allowing them to explore that passion of real estate. As a part-time agent though, you cannot expect the same results or income as a full-time agent who is doing this 24-7. Now there are definitely some people who are really happy with their job, but they just happen to know a lot of people so they want to keep their license on the side for when an opportunity arises and someone that they know may want to buy or sell a home and that's 100% okay and you could definitely do anywhere from two to five deals a year and that could be a great way to supplement your full-time income but if you're someone who really loves real estate and you want to achieve massive success as an agent but you still need your job for the time being then you could make this a reality for yourself but you need to work extremely hard and I'm gonna go over some tips to really help you transition transition to a full-time agent and achieve success. But before I do that, if you're looking to become a real estate agent, then we're currently sponsoring agents in different markets across the country by covering the entire cost of their state approved licensing course. So if you're interested in that, all you need to do is email me. My email is in the description below. Being a good real estate agent requires that you spend time training, marketing, prospecting, setting appointments, attending inspections and appraisals, and being available for your clients and their needs. If you already have a full-time job, it could feel really hard to squeeze this all in, but that is exactly what a part-time agent needs to do if they wanna find success in real estate. The first thing that you need to do is plan around your work hours. If you work a regular nine to five, then this is fairly simple, but if your hours fluctuate, see if it's possible to get on a more regular schedule or if you could have management send you your schedule in advance. You need to plan the time that you're not required to be working at your full-time job so that you could schedule the activities that you need to do to grow your real estate business. Even though you may be tired after your job, you will need to make the most out of every single minute to make up for all the time that was spent away from real estate. For example, if you're working a 9 to 5, then you have the hours of 6 to 9 a.m. and 5 to 11 p.m. that those are potential times and hours that you could dedicate towards real estate related activities. From 6 to 8 a.m., no one is doing business anyways, so this gives you the perfect opportunity to educate and train yourself on real estate. Then if you are able to, you can make phone calls from 8 to 9 a.m. or as soon as you get home from work. If you have appointments, you could drive to those after work from 5 to 8 or if not, then you could use that time to make more calls and prospect for more leads. I personally wouldn't call after 8 o'clock, but from 8 to 10 or even 11, you could do more training and learning about real estate and prepare your call list for the next day. You want to be as efficient as possible with your time, so some hacks that you could do is to bring your real estate clothes with you so you could save time getting ready, take advantage of your lunch break to work more on real estate, and see if it's possible that your job could be one that is done remotely, so this way you could save a ton of time on commute. The second thing that you need to do as a part-time agent is to take full advantage of the days that you have off. Your days off from your full-time job are your biggest blessing because on those days you are a full-time agent. You want to book as many appointments as possible on those days, whether it's showings, listing appointments, or hosting open houses for other agents. Your days off also gives you the opportunity to have long call sessions and prospect for more leads if you don't have appointment. The third thing that is going to help you find success in real estate is to partner with other agents. If you work from 9 to 5 every single day, then inevitably there is going to be instances where you just simply cannot be available for an appointment and it can't be delayed. What you want to do for these situations is to partner with another agent within your office so that this way they can cover for you when you're not available for an appointment. You can do this by either splitting the commission with them and working on those clients together or you could simply compensate them an amount that both of you guys agree to that's going to cover them for the
their time. If there is a client that you know that you cannot properly service with your time constraints or a big listing opportunity that's going to require your full attention, then you will want to partner with an agent and split that deal. Remember that getting half of something is better than being left with nothing. The fourth and final thing that you need to do as a part-time agent is to quit your job. No matter which way you cut it, if you want the results of the full-time successful agents, then you too will need to dedicate a full-time effort to your job and to your clients. If you are okay with being a part-time agent and having real estate as your side hustle, then once again, that's 100% okay. But if you truly want massive success in real estate, then eventually you will have to jump in entirely. You will need to plan properly to quit your job if you don't want to end up broke or homeless. So what I would suggest is to take out a piece of paper and write down all of your monthly necessary living expenses. And these are going to include your cost for housing, food, car, phone, bills, and so on. So you're going to write down all of those expenses and what they cost, and then you're going to add them all up and multiply that final number by six. And this is going to be the amount that you should have saved up before you quit your job. If you do this, this means that the day you quit your job, you will be able to support your current standard of living for six months without getting a paycheck, which may very well be the case. At this point, every dollar really counts, so you will need to cut back on unnecessary spending like eating out and buying non-essentials. If you're really serious, then you could speed up the saving process by selling things that you no longer need, downgrading your car, or finding a more affordable living situation. Now, I know that none of this is ideal, but if you choose to do it, then it will only be temporary, and remember that success is always going to come along with sacrifice. If you calculate that your living expenses are $2,500 a month, then you will need to save up $15,000 so that you can quit your job and go full-time into real estate with a six-month cushion. The amount of time that it takes you to save up that money is entirely dependent on your income and expenses. If you manage to close even just one deal as a part-time agent, then that will certainly help, or it may even be able to get you there with just that one check. If you could even have one or two deals pending at the time that you quit your job, then that will also be a huge relief to you just knowing that you have some money coming in as well. But it is important that you have that money saved in cash before you quit your job so that this way you are guaranteed to have that cushion. So in other words, if you have a $5,000 and a $10,000 commission pending, then don't quit your job because your commission isn't guaranteed until that home actually closes and I'd rather be safe than sorry. This is my best advice on how to succeed as a part-time agent and eventually transition to full-time. So if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to my channel for more real estate and I'll see you in my next video.